It's a fact that most home fires start on stoves. Ignorance is the cause of panic when fire breaks out. We're still in the fire training center, but this time in a <laughs> fireproof room. We're going down in scale with our oil and water experiments to find out what we need to go up in scale. We're gonna use some cute little pots and pans like this to create some cute little kitchen conflagrations, all in an effort to create that elusive 30 foot high fireball. So get set for mayhem in miniature. Will the physical dimensions of the pan make a difference to the height of the fireball? So our scale experiment is pretty much ready to go. I've got several other types of frying pans and uh, Jamie's beret liner, just to find out which shape we think is most energetic. Just like their large scale outdoor tests, they've got a gauge behind the stove that will measure the fireball height. Now, although the oil to water ratio is the same as their earlier tests, eight to one. Okay, that's eight teaspoons full of oil. Adam's worried the miniature amounts may be too small. All right, well, now we need one teaspoon up there. So first up, it's a quick fireball test to see if the mini-me measure will still do the job. Here we go. Scale kitchen conflagration. One teaspoon of water. Wow! <laughs> yep, it's frightening stuff. Even a tiny amount of water can still cause a kitchen catastrophe. <laughs> I think we're gonna need a smaller scale. <laughs> this season, myths will fall. <laughs> All new Mythbusters, Wednesdays at 9, only on Discovery.